I nice dinner with a nice group of people. But now I'm here, and uh, on my request, uh, I'm going to read a piece of my book, Remembering Flint, Michigan, which is very timely right now because, as you already know, Citizens Bank has become First Merit Bank, and uh, all the signs have been changed except for the weather ball, which will be refaced this summer Ooh. with the CB initials changed to FM. So I'll read my piece about the Citizens Bank weather ball. Which I called a very useful landmark. And uh, did you get the uh, vintage ad? Uh, this ad was uh, published in 1956 when they introduced the weather ball to the people of the Flint area. Long before the Weather Channel existed, and more than a decade before Flint even received cable TV, people in and around downtown Flint could look to the top of the Citizens Bank building and figure out the weather forecast each evening. Ever since the Citizens Bank weather ball was built in 1956, Flint residents and visitors who knew the weather ball rhyme knew what to expect. When the weather ball is red, higher temperatures ahead. When the weather ball is blue, lower temperature is due. Yellow light and weather ball means there'll be no change at all. When colors blink in agitation, there's going to be precipitation. The weather wall was built over a four month period on top of the Citizens Bank headquarters. The headquarters was built in 1928 on the site of the original bank which opened in 1871 at 328 South Saginaw Street. The weather ball has been the symbol of Citizens Bank ever since. The weather ball was first lit on the evening of October 30th, 1956. Hundreds of balloons were released to mark the occasion. 300 of the balloons had Citizens Bank savings account credit cards inside. Of course, the weather ball has become a symbol of Fort Flint. Just like the Statue of Liberty in New York, the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, and the Eiffel Tower in Paris. When you see the weather ball with the initial CB underneath, you know you're in Flint. The weather ball corporate symbol of Citizens Bank has changed over the years. My historic favorite is the mascot, Mr. CB from the 1960s. Now that's uh, similar to the Mr. Weatherball design, but uh, short and stout. It's, uh, it's in the uh, mascot's uh, chapter in the book. It's, uh, yeah, here we go. This is uh, Mr. C.B. I'll just show it to the camera. Okay. I want to see it. <laughs> I'm going to watch the video then. We'll look at the camera. Yeah, it's it's uh, this right here. Oh, yeah. Back to the text. In 2004, Citizens introduced its current corporate depiction of the weather ball, a red ball with bright diagonal curved lines. Citizens Parent Company, Citizens Republic Bank Corp, was the largest bank holding company headquartered in Michigan. All other big banks in Michigan are headquartered out of state, including Comerica, which moved its headquarters from Detroit to Dallas, Texas in 2007. Thanks to Citizens Bank, here are some weather ball banks. The bank operates the weather ball and follows forecasts from the National Weather Service to determine which color the weather ball will be in the evening and whether it will blink or not. It was constructed by craftsmen from 10 skilled trades using 800 square feet of plexiglass and 667 feet of neon tubing. It weighs 2.5 tons with a height and diameter of 15 feet and a circumference of 47 feet. It can be seen for 25 miles and is designed to withstand winds of up to 120 miles per hour. During the 1970s energy crisis, the weather ball was turned off from 1974 to January 1978 to save electricity. It was briefly lit for a few days in 1977 to make sure everything was working properly. Some neon work was needed to get the weather ball fully functioning again. There are or were other weather balls constructed by banks, such as the ones built in Michigan by Michigan National Bank in Grand Rapids the Texas National Bank in Houston, and Northwestern Bank in Minneapolis, all along with uh, KACU-TV in Sioux City, Iowa. Grand Rapids TV station WZZM Channel 13 bought the dismantled Michigan National Bank weather ball, restored it, and moved it to a studio location 
and the I-96 and US-131 interchange. The inside of the weather ball has been an impressive sight with its alternating red, blue, and yellow neon tubing. About 2002, it received new breaker panels, transformers, and wiring. For its 50th anniversary in 2006, citizens hired three local companies to completely refurbish the weather ball, including an inside and out power washing, new paint, new wiring, new electrical connections, and, where necessary, neon tubing. Citizens made contracts with signs by Craney for new signs and maintenance of existing signs, including the weather ball. The Citizens Bank weather ball continues to be a prominent feature of downtown Flint and serves as a giant eyeball watching over the city. Thanks to Citizens Bank. <laughs> And as an afternoon, Science by Craney has been responsible for changing the signs locally from Citizens Bank to First Merit Bank. And I uh, hope you like this piece, and I thank you very much. Thank you.